the first Sunday in Lent. Year B. From the book of Genesis. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week remind us that in the waters of baptism, we emerge from a force of destruction. The rainbow covenant made with every living creature of all flesh assures us that the destructive powers of nature will never again destroy all flesh. Creation will emerge from the waters just as Jesus comes up out of the waters of the Jordan. Alas, this is only to be immediately driven by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan to prove by means of power and excess and status the belovedness that has just been declared freely by the voice from heaven. That belovedness still leaves us, however, with a question of how to face the consequences of our own actions. Peter reminds us that even when God was angry enough to decide to destroy the world, nevertheless, he waited patiently during the building of the ark. In other words, God gives us opportunities to make preparations and reparations, to participate in never-before-dreamed-of structures if not always to avert the dangers that loom before us, but at least to preserve some life, some hope in the here and now. In earnest of that participation, let us therefore make an appeal to God for our own good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let us, like the psalmist, lift up our souls to the Lord, putting our trust in the God who seeks not our humiliation, but our rehabilitation. Let us remember our true selves according to God's love and for the sake of God's goodness. And then, having found our way through the wilderness, let us follow the example of Jesus, who did not let the message of repentance fall silent when John the Baptist was arrested, but instead came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. Let us shine the light of God's truth through the waters of God's mercy so that the rainbow of God's covenant may appear for all the world to see. In the name of that God, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.